Hello everyone. Today we will continue to learn about the Linux command. And today we will learn about MV command. In this tutorial, I will I will use Fedora 35 workstation. And this Fedora I installed in my VM. I use the GNOME boxes to install this Fedora 35. Let's go. Open your terminal. And in this tutorial, I will create files and folders inside the documents folder. Go to documents folder. First, we will learn with file, and after that, we continue to learn with folders okay I will create a file name uh, file one.txt this is inside file one.txt and then i will create a new, a new file name file 2.txt this is in site file 2.txt There are already two files. First of all, we will see the manual page of MV command. In here, we can see that MV stands for move or rename files. For me, MV command can be used for rename file or folder or move files or folders into a folder and below the description you can see the option if you want to use the MV command And in this tutorial, I will show you just a little bit example for using the option of the MV command. Okay, let's start to rename the file one.txt. Wait. I will take a note so we can see the progress of topic today. MV command in Linux can be used or renaming a file a folder moving files or folder 
into a folder pay attention I said a folder because we cannot move folders into a folder we cannot only one folder into a folder but we can move files into a folder we will practice it later and now we will practice the a the a option i mean the a point the point a renaming a file or a folder okay i will rename the file one.txt with mv command mv this is the this is the original file name into you can see here that the file name already changed is there is there any change inside the the file okay there's no change inside the file how if i rename a file and the new name is already there for example i will rename the file 1.txt into file 2.txt what will happen let's see inside the file 2 okay this is inside this is inside the file 1 and this is inside the file 2 okay. mv file 1 to be file 2.txt let's see what happened the file 1.txt is gone and let's see inside the file 2.txt so with the mv command the file 2 is over written by the file 1 so inside file 2.txt is this string okay so maybe you will will say that oh mv command is dangerous yes that's correct because the mv command as a default will not show information or notification what will happen if you execute the file i'm sorry the command so is there any option to prevent that you can use this option minus i from before override if you want to rename a file that the name already inside same folder so you need to use this option and maybe maybe you can use this command i'm sorry this option to minus p 
that mv command will create a backup okay let's try with with a file I will rename because inside this file to is this string so I will rename the file 2.txt into file 1.txt and then I will create a new file We will try to rename file one dot txt into file two dot txt. Mv minus t e file one dot txt into file two dot txt. All right. I will say no. How if I will? How if I use p and p file one dot txt to p file two dot txt? Okay, so there's a backup file with the tilde character let's see what is inside the file 2 with tilde character so this is the correct string inside the file 2.txt and inside the file 2.txt without tilde is this string so we can say that the mv command will create the file to backup how if I combine the option and V minus I B um sorry I will rename first the file to the txt into the file one dot txt and then I will rename the file to with the tilde into the file to dot txt. Okay, check the string. Correct and file 2 correct and then let's try to combine the option minus i p file 1 dot txt into file 2 dot txt right yes let's see 
and let's see inside each file. This is the file one. This is the file two original. Okay, okay, everyone. And I think it's enough to learn with files, and we will continue to learn with folder and combine files and folder. Okay, everyone, let's continue to practice with folders. I will create a folder with name one. Oh, sorry, I will create two folders name one and two. Okay, already two folders, and I will rename the file two into file. One so txt and rename the file two with tilde into file two dot txt. Okay, we will try to rename the folder I will rename the folder 1 into 3 I hope I create the correct spelling of 3 okay You can see everyone that the folder one already changed into three. And how if I I rename a folder to be a folder that already there? Let's check three to be two okay so you can see here only one folder is there a folder inside the two let's check you can see here everyone that if we Use M3 to rename a folder to be a folder name that already inside. The M3 folder will move the folder into a folder. So, how if how if I create a new folder? Wait, wait. I will create a folder name three, and then I move the three into two.
okay so inside the two there's three hmm. okay okay so now if how if I put a file inside the three I will create a folder. Okay. So what we do? The file one and file two in the three. Three. Txt. And file to the txt into three folder. Already inside the three folder. Next, I will move the three into the two and as you can see that there's a folder three inside the two so what will happen see the result into the two but move three to two directory not empty okay so the MP will do nothing without this folder with the same name okay so the conclusion is first If we rename a file into a file name that ready in the same location, we and we can will write file without not tip or info so we need option and p and or minus p the second conclusion if we if we rename a folder to be a folder the name that 
already same this will command to move the with order into the other order but if inside the folder There's a for folder with the same name MV wheel and three process. Okay, everyone. I think. This is the end of my video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and comment if you to comment this video. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.